Facebook is still the largest social platform by user base, so it is important to have your brand on the platform so you have the opportunity to reach a wider audience that you otherwise wouldn't have reached. Let's go through seven ways that you can promote your podcast on Facebook using both your personal account and your podcast's Facebook page. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. The first thing that you want to do is to set up a Facebook page for your podcast. From your personal account, go to Menu, Pages, Create New. You want to set this up from your personal account so you can easily switch between your personal account and your podcast page. Name your Facebook page after your podcast. We suggest putting the word podcast in the name if it isn't already so people can quickly identify what your page is about. Set the category as podcast so Facebook will suggest useful features to you. Put a one to two sentence description of your show. Try to fill this with relevant keywords. Use your podcast logo as your profile picture. Make sure the dimensions are 196 by 196 pixels. Add your cover image. You can personalize this more. We suggest including a CTA on this like listen on your favorite streaming platform. The ideal size and file type for your cover image is an sRGB JPG file that's 851 pixels wide, 315 pixels tall, and less than 100 kilobytes. Once your page is created, you can easily switch between it and your personal account by clicking on your profile picture. Add an action button. Unfortunately, there is no listen now button, so we suggest using either the follow button to make it easy to follow your page, or use the learn more button and link to your podcast's website. Go into your settings. On page info, fill out all of your relevant information. Make a username for your page. Keep it as close to your podcast name as possible. This is what people will use when tagging your page, so it's important that it's easy to remember. Go to templates and tabs and change your template to the video template. This will set your page up to be a content first page focusing on the videos and live videos that you post. Make sure you invite all of your personal Facebook friends to like the page. You want to make sure that your page stays active. The easiest way to do this is to head to settings, click on Instagram, and connect your Instagram account. This is one of the handiest tools for creators. Instagram is one of the best social media tools for marketing your podcast. You can focus your efforts on creating content for that platform and those posts will be automatically shared to your Facebook page, allowing you to reach your Facebook audience as well with minimal work from your end. After you share a post from Instagram, make sure to edit the post on Facebook to fit the platform. Change any Instagram tags to Facebook page tags. This allows you to connect with that page's Facebook audience rather than their Instagram audience. Also, take out any link in bio CTAs and insert the full link in the Facebook post. Here are 10 Facebook post ideas. Post your shows bio with your cover image. Have a separate post linking to your show's profile on the major streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Use the CTA, listen now, and tag the streaming services page. Link to your podcast's website with the CTA, learn more about the show, and listen now on your favorite streaming platform. Do a live video welcoming people to your page and briefly talking about what the show is about. Post this live video to your feed afterwards. Have separate posts linking to your episode trailer on the various streaming platforms. Post a reel. Use a clip from one of your episodes. If you record on Riverside, you can create social media optimized clips from your recordings and design them directly on the Riverside platform. You can then download these and post them directly as reels. Reels should be less than a minute long and don't forget to include trending audio underneath the clip. You can also post a longer clip to your feed. Find a part of an episode that has exceptionally valuable information and pitches the episode as a whole. Post it as a video to your feed with a Listen Now CTA directing to the full episode. Share a tweet thread from Twitter. This could be a resource within your podcast's niche, something that your target audience would find interesting, or even better, this tweet could come from your Twitter account. Click the link above to learn more about creating tweet threads for podcast promotion. To make this easy, connect your Twitter account to your Facebook page and automate the sharing of new tweets to your Facebook feed using Zapier. Add a post from your personal account. Something nice that you can do is switch to interacting as your personal Facebook account so you can post a personal message to your page's followers. Post the link to individual episode website pages and use the show notes as the Facebook caption. Share content from your podcast page to your personal page. This will help your content reach your biggest supporters. Find an active Facebook group in your podcast niche and become an integral part of it from your personal account. By doing it from your personal account, it makes it feel more authentic and less like a marketing strategy. Answer people's questions, post yourself, and comment on other people's posts. Genuinely engage with them. Don't just look for ways to promote yourself. 
Occasionally, suggest episodes from your podcast that are relevant and post when you have a new podcast episode. Make sure to tag the podcast's Facebook page wherever you're talking about it so people know that they can go and follow it if they want to get more frequent updates. Make sure you understand the group's rules regarding self-promotion. Some groups won't let you link to your own content. Create content easily by going live on Facebook. You can do this when you are recording your episodes. This will give your followers an inside look at the recording process and doesn't add any extra work on your end. If you record on Riverside, you can stream live directly from the Riverside platform to Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms simultaneously with the live streaming feature. If you're having someone well-known or very interesting on the show, create an event page for the day that it goes live. This way, whoever has responded to the event will be notified upon its release. Don't forget to post the link to the episode once it's released on the event page. From your page's profile, search podcasts with similar niches. Follow their page and comment on their posts. This will help the algorithm learn who to suggest your page to. With Facebook's new page manager, this is easy because your page has its own newsfeed full of content from accounts that your page follows. It keeps it very separate from your personal account and makes it easy to engage as your page. Create a Facebook group off of your Facebook page. A Facebook page is more of a profile, whereas a Facebook group is more of a collaborative platform. On a Facebook group, your listeners can post about recent episodes, provide feedback on episodes, and collaborate amongst each other. This generates more engagement for the people who are the most interested in engaging with your content. There's seven ways you can use the tools Facebook offers in order to promote your show. Have any other ideas? Leave them in the comments. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon so that you never miss another video from the Riverside YouTube channel.